you know polio virus, then you can at least get 10 marks. Main questions come from polio only. So, what are the topics that come in polio? The structure of polio virus, pathogenesis of polio myelitis, because polio virus causes polio myelitis. So, you should know the pathogenesis, you should know the lab diagnosis, profile axis against polio, immunoprofile axis. This is the most important question in the entire microbiology, you can see. Okay. Then, yeah, this is the whole table about the vaccines. So, this much you should know, guys. So, you got an idea about polio uh, chapter, right? And let us uh, dive in. See, polio virus is actually a pico RNA virus. It is what RNA virus? Pico RNA virus. It has single stranded RNA positive sense. Under pico RNA virus, you have enterovirus and rhinovirus. Enterovirus means something that affects the intestine. So, you have the polio virus, you have the Coxsackie virus, and all that, and rhinovirus, which causes common cold. Can you imagine common cold and polio virus together in one group? Pico RNA virus? Wow. So, can you tell me where polio virus comes in the classification? RNA virus, Pico RNA virus, enterovirus, polio virus, Coxsackie virus also comes there. Then you have rhinovirus also under Pico RNA virus. This much you understood. No, it has single stranded RNA. Shall we move on from this slide? So, structure of polio virus is important for uh, exam. So, these are very small, non-enveloped. So, these words are very important. This only they'll be looking for. Non-enveloped. Non-enveloped. Okay. Are you able to see, guys? They are simple in structure, very small, non-enveloped. Wait, first let us look at the structure here. Uh, polio virus, see this is the RNA, single stranded RNA. Then they are showing some kind of a pattern here. This is the capsid. There is no envelope, so it's a non-enveloped. Small, simple RNA, single stranded RNA virus. VP1, VP2, VP3, VP4 it says. VP4 is inside. This is how they look in electron micrograph. Arrow showing. Then what are all these? So this is the virus. P polio virus, okay? Fine, so these are spherical shaped. Okay, this also you should mention guys. Spherical shaped. Spherical Non-enveloped, icosahedral symmetry. Icosahedral symmetry, the capsid has 60 subunits. Capsid has 60 subunits. Each subunit has 4 viral proteins, VP1 to VP4. So, where will you see VP1 to VP4, guys? In polio. Okay. Then, they possess single-stranded positive sense linear RNA. This you already know, right? Single stranded positive sense linear RNA. Is it clear? Very good. Other things they are telling here. They are stable at acidic pH. That's why they like the stomach. Okay. Heat labile. They are inactivated by heating. Okay. They are heat labile. That's all is enough in uh, structure, guys. So, tell the structure of uh, polio virus. Who will tell? Yes, please. Polio virus is uh, single-stranded RNA, linear positive sense RNA. It is having uh, uh, non-envelope. It has capsid which has 60 units. Each unit contains 4 viral proteins, VP1 to VP4. Then uh, they have icosahedral symmetry. They are spherical in shape. Then what else? Uh, they are heat labile and they love ga uh, acidic pH. Very good, very good. Okay, there is some more information in the textbook um, which you can know. There are three types of uh, polio virus, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Based on the uh, an uh, antigenic, okay, antigen, there are three types. First of all, if you know the antigens, right, then only you can see the types. Antigens, you have D and C. 
dense and capsid okay based on that there are antigenic types polio virus classification based on antigenic types you have type 1 type 2 type 3 not very difficult right type 1 is uh, the most common okay and type 2 actually is almost eradicated already eradicated but the virus strains cause vaccine derived polio virus type 3 also causes a uh, vaccine associated paralytic polio myelitis okay this much if you want you can remember guys uh, for extra information read the textbook okay so we will cover uh, we have covered in this video the structure of polio virus and uh, we have also seen the antigens and the classification based on antigen types this much you can write in structure if you want okay next video we will start off with the pathogenesis because i think um, pathogenesis is important then you have lab diagnosis then you have prophylaxis against polio the vaccines okay immunoprophylaxis this much you should know guys in the next video we will continue with the pathogenesis of polio myelitis